Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so another sequence of numbers and this time uh, the square numbers. And so I'm going to show you the first six square numbers and then you're going to figure out the pattern as usual. So here's the first square number, the second, the third square number is 9, the fourth square number is 16, the fifth is 25, and the sixth and last one I'll show you is 36. Of course, this list never ends. It goes on and on and on, right? But um, we'll keep it to this, and now I'm going to give you a little bit of time to figure out the pattern. Okay, you probably didn't need a lot of time here. Um, the square numbers are the easiest to figure out, and um, if it's not easy for you, it's okay. But yeah, the first square number, if you said, is 1 times 1, the second is 2 times 2, the third is 3 times 3, the fourth is 4 times 4, and so on, you'd be correct. So the seventh square number is 7 times 7, or 49, and we can continue in that fashion forever. Now remember, my last video was about triangular numbers, and we made a connection between triangular numbers and dots. And so we can make a similar connection between square numbers and dots. And here's that connection. Uh, which is we can make a uh, one dot square, a four dot square, and then I just showed you a nine dot square, a 16 dot square, and finally a 25 dot square is the last one I'll show, but you can keep continuing and um, you can keep going and uh, show that you can make a square out of 36 dots. Uh, but there's kind of a very important subtle difference between what we said about the dots and the triangular numbers and the dots and the square numbers. And the triangular numbers, we said that uh, the space between any two dots has to be the same. And here for the square numbers, we're just asking, given 36 dots, can you turn them into a square shape? Uh, we cannot ask, uh, can you also make uh, the distance or the gap between any two dots the same? Because it turns out that the gap between this dot and this dot here is not the same as the gap between this dot and this dot. But still, we can take nine dots and arrange them in the shape of a square like this. And so that's all we're asking um, as a connection between dots and square numbers this time. Yeah? All right, cool. So next are our pentagonal numbers. So keep watching. Take care.